we come now to the confession of sin. If you're like me, you may have grown up with this concept of God and how God relates to sin and what we do um, is basically like Roz from Monsters, Inc., right? You didn't fill out your paperwork, Mike Wazowski. I'm watching you, Mike Wazowski. Always watching. Right? I mean, that's, you know, the God was just basically about, you know, policing your life. Um, and, and that's not it. Uh, sin is not responding correctly to a holy and perfect God who loves you in a way that is holy and perfect and sacrificial. And so let's take some time today to recognize how we have failed to be in perfect relationship um, with a holy, perfect, and loving God. Remember your mercy, O Lord, and your steadfast love, for they have been from of old. Remember not the sins of my youth or my transgressions. According to your steadfast love, remember me for the sake of your goodness, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in what is right and teaches the humble his way. All the paths of the Lord are steadfast love and faithfulness for those who keep his covenant and his testimonies. For your name's sake, O Lord, pardon my guilt, for it is great. Who is the man who fears the Lord? Him will he instruct in the way that he should choose. His soul shall abide in well-being, and his offspring shall inherit the land. The friendship of the Lord is for those who fear him, and he makes known to them his covenant. My eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he will pluck my feet out of the net. Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted. The troubles of my heart are enlarged. Bring me out of my distresses. Consider my affliction and my trouble and forgive all my sins. Consider how many are my foes and with what violent hatred they hate me. O oh, guard my soul and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I take refuge in you. May integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait for you. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all his troubles. Let's take some moments to uh, personally consider our sin this week. Friends, as the confession described, uh, God is not a malicious judge sitting on the throne waiting to pounce on any little transgression, but instead he is one of steadfast love, and his greatest expression of steadfast love was the person and work of Jesus on our behalf. Hear now the assurance of pardon. For Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit. <laughs> 